The Adidas Game of Thrones House Stark Edition Ultra Boost features an all gray prime knit upper. Prime knit texture is ribbed on the tongue with contrasting patterns on the heel and toe regions. The tongue tag has the Adidas 3M logo on the front and the sigil for House Stark, a silver gray dire wolf on the interior tag. The words House and Stark are printed on the gray shoelace tips. The heel tag has the words of House Stark, Winter is Coming, printed on them. The insole, which traditionally has the word boost printed on it, instead has the Game of Thrones logo printed in white. The cage continues the pattern of gray coloring with the three stripes themselves being core black. Suede material accents can be found on the mudguards and the hill counter, which are also core black as well. The dark gray midsole is composed of the signature Adidas boost technology. The outsole is black and is made of continental rubber, which is laid out in a pattern designed with the white boost material being exposed. This is all anchored down by the torsion system, which is designed to help prevent improper flexing for the arch of the foot. First off, the only reason I bought these shoes is because I am a huge Game of Thrones fan. I have been since the first season. It's probably my favorite show of all time. I didn't even know about the collab until about a week after the release, so I ran to my local finish line store, and luckily I was able to snag a pair in my size. As part of the collaboration with Game of Thrones, Adidas released six different colorway designs, all of which I thought looked great, but I couldn't really see myself wearing most of them. When I buy shoes, I usually buy them with the intention of wearing them and not just keeping them in a box or putting them on a mantle, for example. Out of the six designs, the only two I could see myself wearing were the Grey House Stark and the Black House Targaryen designs, since those two were the only ones that did not have a white midsole, which is always an extra maintenance for me when it comes to shoes. Now, I narrowed it down to this particular pair just because gray being a neutral color that it is, I could see myself wearing it with more outfits. As with all Ultra Boosts, comfort is not going to be an issue here. These are very comfy shoes. The extra cushion around the ankle adds a lot of support and it gives it an almost snug type fit. I bought these true to size and did not have any issues with it being too small as some have suggested to go a half size up. This will vary by person but definitely try them on ahead of time before buying it if you have a chance to. The difference between good and great is in the details and you can tell Adidas definitely pay attention to the details here. Design wise, I really enjoyed the gray or as I prefer to call it wolf gray castle gray color scheme you get some serious winterfell vibes here the additions of the words and sigil of house stark are not that invasive as it adds some additional flair without taking too much away from the base ultra boost 4 design the silver gray dire wolf sigil is pretty badass though in my opinion overall i've always been a fan of ultra boost from comfort design and functionality it checks all the boxes for me this review was to see how well it incorporated the house start design, which it does do a good job, in my opinion, so to me it was worth the purchase. Even if you're not into Game of Thrones, these are great running shoes. You can wear them pretty much for most occasions whether it's to work out or even just casually for the fashion aspect of it. For my Game of Thrones fans out there though, this is definitely a must have. If you can get them retail wise, it's worth the investment. If you plan to buy it on the resale market, make sure you're ready to potentially pay a lot more. The words of House Stark are, winter is coming, and so is my credit card bill when I have to pay off these shoes. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching, I'm out.